In this step-by-step -step Procreate tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to draw this hobby door easily using my custom watercolor brushes. You can get them along with the color palette by the free download link in the description below. If you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. I've created a vertical canvas and set its dimensions to 2000 by 2500 pixels, 300 dpi. To make the drawing process more fun, I named the colors after the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit characters. I should say that among all, my favorite character is Legolas, and I'd be glad to know yours. So feel free to write in the comments. Also, I've made a set of brushes specially for this tutorial, which includes some textures that we already used, a couple of brand new watercolor brushes like bricks and wood, and one brush from the mosaic set that I modified a little. If you'd like to get the full mosaic set, please visit my Patreon page, where I share exclusive brush sets and in-depth tutorials. The link to it is in the video description. Tutorial files are available to download for free below the video too. Now let's proceed to drawing. And in the beginning, I'll go ahead and change the background color. We can do it easily if we tap here and from the palette select Frodo color. It will be changed and after that we can start drawing the door. So I will tap on the color palette again and select Legolas color. Then I will go to the brush set and select watercolor bricks brush. Its size is set to 14%. I will just draw a circle like this. Starting somewhere here and making it not very big. Let's wait a second and after that tap on the canvas to make the circle perfect. We can also try to scale it. And if you have a gap like me, we can do this. Just tap once then outline the brick in freehand and move it. You may also need to scale it, so it'll look natural. Alright, let me move it down a little bit, so we have more space on top. And I will also try to keep the same distance on the sides, like this. After that, I will duplicate this layer. Let's go to this one, then to Adjustments and select Hue Saturation Brightness option. I will reduce the brightness to none, so I'm sliding all the way to the left. Let's now clip the layer to the black base, click on the arrow and start moving it diagonally, until we see this black border. This way the bricks will get dimension. After we did that, we can merge these two layers. And after that create another one to draw the door. Let's place it below. For the door I will select Bilbo color. Then go to the brushes and from airbrushing, I will select medium hard airbrush. Both size and opacity are set to maximum. I will just paint inside. And it may intersect the bricks. So we don't have to be very accurate here. After we painted it, let's work on the edge. So I will go to eraser. And from the brush set for Hobbit door, I will grab basic watercolor brush. I will just start erasing the edge. The size can be set around 11 or 10 percent. Like this. It may touch the bricks. And you may also need to make a few strokes on the same place to remove the texture completely. It'll get textured and look more like watercolor but it'll get even better after we add textures and also shading. Right now let's finish erasing it to continue working. I'm going upper here. Some of the bricks are bigger as you see, so it is totally fine if the circle is not perfect. 
like this. I will just finish it, erasing the color. I think I will erase it more on this side. On top as well. And now it is ready. To add the texture, I will go to the layer, create another one above it and clip. So the color will stay inside. In the palette I will select Aragon color and in the brush set I will select basic watercolor brush. Just make the size very big. Maybe even 100%. With low pressure I will start making strokes at the bottom. Going slightly up. We can try to tap this way. And after that I will paint more at the lower edge, to make it even darker, like this. Also tap a few times to blend the colors. Now let's add even more texture, and for that I will make another layer, right above this one. Let's also clip it, and set it to vivid light. I will continue using the same color, but go to change the brush to watercolor wood. Since the brush is in texturized mode, if you want to change the size, you will need to go to grain and increase its scale. So here the size doesn't matter. We only need to make strokes on the door, like this. And now I'd like to make it even darker. So I will go to adjustments and apply hue saturation brightness. Let's reduce the brightness to 43%. To add volume to the texture, I will do this. I will duplicate this layer. Then go to this one and change its blending mode to soft light. After that I will invert it to make it lighter. Now let's tap on the arrow, and after that I will tap a few times like this, like 3 or 4, to move the texture. Now if we have a look at it, and compare, it will look slightly different, and I like it more this way. Now we can finish the shading, so I will create even more layers, right above this one. Let's not forget to clip it, but this time I will set it to multiply mode, to make the color darker. Let's use basic watercolor brush, but I will lower the opacity a little bit, to make the shading gradually. Let's also reduce the size a little, to around 84% and start making strokes on the left side first, on this corner. Going down, we can also try to tap, like this. Then make the size smaller, and work a little on the edge. Go to the right. I'm also painting here, and then at the bottom. Just making a few strokes going up, to darken it as well. I will just paint a few more times. And to make the color even darker, let's create one last layer. I will also set it to multiply, and then clip. With a smaller size I will paint more on the edge, here. Let me make it full opacity. And I will continue making strokes. Also go to the side like this. 
then a little bit down. Work more on the left edge. And I think now it is fine. We can draw the handle. So we can totally merge all the layers for the door. And create another one above. As the base color for the handle, I'm going to use Galadriel. With the same brush I will reduce the brush size to around 5% and draw a rounded square here in the middle. We can move it and after that I will alpha lock the layer to shade it so we can add more colors. I will start with L round color Increase the size and make a stroke on the left side. Like this. Then I will select Aragon color and paint at the bottom. We can make it even darker. Let's try to blend the colors using the same brush. So I will just make stroke like this inside. After that I will create a layer below this one. Grab this dark color called Sauron. Make the size a bit smaller and paint around the handle like this to create sort of an outline mostly at the lower side after that we can try to add the shadow so I will create another layer below this one continue using the same color but change the layers mode to soft light Let's reduce the opacity of the brush a little bit, increase the size if needed, and start making strokes under the handle. Let's try to tap this way, it may go a little to the right side, but it will be located mostly under the handle. So now it is ready. I think we can maybe add some highlight. So I will actually select Galadriel color again, go back to the handle and just make a couple of strokes like this. Ok, now I like it and I think it is ready. Let's also merge this lace with the door. After that I will create another one below and start adding more colors. So let's grab Aragon and here I'd like to use another texture. It will be the one from Procreate. So I'm going to the texture set and select this one called Kara Wong. Let's set the size to 8% or maybe even less and start painting behind the bricks like this going all the way around if you rotate the canvas we can paint all the white gaps since the brush is also in texturized mode, it has this texture that can't be removed. So we need to rotate it. Let me finish it. Go up on the side. And close it. We still manage to keep the texture here. But it looks very nice, I think. 
All right. Let's now add some shading here. So I will go to Adjustments, pick Hue Saturation Brightness, but this time I'm going to use it in Pencil. We can keep the same brush, then set Q to 50% and reduce the brightness a little bit, so we can see what we are doing. I will start painting here, on the edge. I think we can make it even darker. That's better now. And since the bricks are semi-transparent, they will get darker as well. We can try to make the size smaller and continue darkening it, like this. I will go down a little bit, shade it here. And also on the right, but at the lower side, we can make the shadow even wider. So it will get even more dimension. I will adjust it a little bit, just make a few more strokes. Let's make it wider here too. And I think now it is fine. I'd like to go back to the lay with the bricks and add a highlight on it. Let's do it exactly the same way. So I will open adjustments, select hue saturation brightness and also select pencil. Let's set hue to 50% but this time increase brightness. Start adding the highlight here on the side, on the bricks. It will be more visible on the light areas. So we can try to make it even lighter and just make a few more strokes. I think it looks even better now. And even realistic. Okay. I've set the brightness to 70% and you can select your own amount. It is ready now and we can continue working. In the next step, I'd like to draw the greens on the sides. So I will create a layer above all layers and for the base color I will grab Gandalf. Let me go to the brush set and select this watercolor foliage. We used it to draw in Moroccan door. The size of the brush is set to 34% and I will start making strokes on the sides. Let me go from here and make an arc like this, very close to the bricks. Since the brush is pressure sensitive, the more we press, the bigger leaves we will get. And I will make a few more strokes here at the bottom to adjust the shape. We can paint more to remove the gaps because later we will add even more colors to it. So let me paint this way. And after that I will do the same on the right. Starting from here and going down. I will also paint like this. Making even more strokes. to the side and after that I will go to alpha lock the layer so we can keep the color inside. Let's change it to a darker tone, let it be golem and make more strokes inside like this. Then also on the left We can even try to add lighter tones. Let's grab Bilbo. 
I will paint here, then on this side, and also on the left. Now we can also try to add flowers, but do it on another layer. So let's create it above this one, and then clip. It's another way to keep the textures or colors inside. I will only select Gimli color, and go to spray paints from Procreate. From here I will grab flicks. Set the size to 24% and tap a few times on each side, like this. After that I will change the color to Legolas and tap more. Or you can try to make a stroke if you like. So it may also look like berries. Once it is ready, the only thing we need to do is add a cast shadow that these flowers drop on the bricks. To do it easily, I will do this. I will go to the layer number 4, it's this one, and duplicate it. Let's go here, clip it to the bricks, unlock it, and set it to multiply mode. After that we can make it even darker. If you go to Adjustments, select Hue Saturation Brightness option and reduce the brightness. We can just set it to None. After that we need to blur it, using Gaussian Blur. So let's slide to the right side, until we can see a subtle shadow. I think it can be around 9 or 10%. To make it more visible, I will duplicate this layer a few times. And after that I will merge these layers. In the next step I'd like to work on the ground. For that I will create a layer below all layers. First I will go to the color palette and select this dark color called Samwise. Also in the brush set. I will select basic watercolor brush. Let's set the size to around 40% or so. And start making strokes here at the bottom. Try to match it with the greens. And make it rounded here. Then I will make more strokes like this. Right under the door. Then I will make one more layer, above this one, select Galabriel color, in the seamless pattern with pebbles. I will just draw a rectangular shape, like this. After that I will click on the arrow and distort it. Let's move it down and also add perspective to it by moving these sliders. We can also move this one upper. To get the result like this. Just a couple of more adjustments. This part needs to be in the center. And after that, I will go and clip the layer to the base. To make the bricks a little bit darker, we can reduce the opacity of the layer. For example, I will set it to around 73%. And after that we can add shading to it. For that I will create another layer above this one. And then also clip it. Let's set the layers mode to multiply right away. Switch back to Aragon color. And also to basic watercolor brush. 
let's set the size to 29% and start making strokes like this. To add the shadow, I will paint under the door and also under the flowers on the sides. Let's make it gradual. Go to the right side. Paint even more. And I think we can make it even darker. So I will create one more layer. Also clip it. And also set it to multiply. So this color will get even darker. Even though we will use the same. I will just make the size a bit smaller. And add a shadow here. So we will get a darker color here. Like this. Alright. This part is also ready. Let's start working on the wall. So all these layers for the ground can be merged. Let's now create another one. And place it below. First I'd like to draw more bricks. And for that I will select Legolas color. And also watercolor bricks. I will just make 3 vertical strokes. First in the center. We can wait a second and then adjust spaces between the bricks. We can even move it. After that you can either duplicate the layer or draw more. I will make another stroke. Also move it. And draw one last time. You can try to make strokes in different directions, going up or down. Also adjusting the spaces. And I will make the same distance. Now we can scale the entire layer. So I will click on the arrow and use uniform transformation. Just make them a little bit bigger. Like this. And we can also try to move them. Let them go a little bit down. Like this. After that I'd like to do the same what we did on these bricks. So I'm duplicating the layer. Go into this one. And then I will make it dark. So let's apply hue saturation brightness option. And reduce brightness. To make it pure black. Now let's go back to this layer and clip it to the dark one. After that click on the arrow and drag it diagonally to reveal this black border. Like this. Now we can merge these two layers and create another one underneath. I'm selecting Aragon color. Also go into textures from Procreate to grip Karawong. We can set the size to 5% and paint behind the bricks. Like this. Also make strokes vertically. And it may go slightly outside. Let's also paint here. And the last one. To remove the white gaps we need to rotate the canvas. As we did before. So I will also paint like this. On this one. And these are ready. We can only add cast shadows. And for that we can also use hue saturation brightness option. So let's select it. And switch to pencil. I will set hue to 50%. And reduce brightness a little. Let's make strokes like this. To add the cast shadow. On each part. 
on this one. We can try to make circular strokes to smudge it a little bit. Also on this one. And after that we can adjust the amount of brightness. You can slide to see what you like. You can make it darker or lighter. I think I will keep it at 30%. And after that deselect. These two layers can be merged. After that I will create another one. Right here. And grab the glass color. Then go back to Hobbit door and select basic watercolor brush. I will just make the size smaller and paint an arc like this. Then go upper. Let's paint it. So it covers the bricks completely. No transparency. And after that I will create one more layer to draw the leaves. Let's try to use the same color, which was Gandalf. And also same brush. It was watercolor foliage number 3. Let's keep it in the same size. And start making strokes from top. Go to the sides. Let's make it a little bit wider in the center. And cover the edge. Here I will apply less pressure. And I think it is enough. Now let's shade it quickly. So we can totally alpha lock the layer. Switch to darker color on the right. Maybe reduce the opacity a little. And start making strokes at the bottom. Like this. I think I will make it even smaller. After we did that, we can also try to add a lighter shade. So let's select Bilbo. I will make the size a bit bigger and just tap here and there. I think we can also add Galadriel color somewhere on the side. Alright. After that we also need to shade the red part. So let's go here and apply Hue Saturation Brightness option. To do it quickly, I will switch to pencil, set hue to 50% and lower the brightness a little. We can actually try to use the same brush with leaves, so the shadow will look more natural. Or you can also try to use watercolor, just pick whichever you like. I think this one worked. So I set the brightness to 37%. And after that I will deselect. Finally we can paint the wall. And for that we need to create a layer below all layers. So let me drag it here. And as the base color I will select Elrond. In the recent brushes I will pick Karawong. Just increase the size and start making strokes like this. All around the canvas. We can also try to tap. It'll look almost as watercolor, but it also has this nice texture. Let me rotate the canvas to remove white gaps. I will paint it here. So the drawing is almost ready. We can now add some shading to the wall. 
so we can actually create another layer above it or well, alpha lock this one. I think I will go with the new layer. So we can make some adjustments on it. Let's just clip it. And go to select Aragon color. I will use the same brush. Paint here, around the door, with very low pressure. Make the size a bit smaller. And then make a few strokes this way. To add more shadow. You can make it here. Then on this side. And close to this one. Just some final touches and the drawing will be ready. So first of all I will create one more layer, above all layers. Go to the color disk and double tap here to select white color. Then let me select fine sandy texture. And just make a couple of strokes. With a brush size set of 64%. We can try to move it. And I think I will keep it like this. Maybe just make another stroke on top. In the end I'd like to apply a paper overlay that will make it look more like watercolor. I will go and insert the file. It's called watercolor image and it is included in the tutorial bundle. Once it is imported, I will go to adjustments, hue saturation brightness and desaturate the image to turn it into grayscale. Now let's open the layer and try to change the blending mode of the layer. I will set it to overlay, but it will make the drawing very light. To fix it, I will go back to adjustments. But this time I will play around with brightness. Let's set it to 42%. After that we can try to scale it and move to match the dark areas with the shadows. So I will click on the arrow and I think I will flip the image horizontal. Then start rotating it. I will make it bigger. Put the dark part here. So now it will look like this. We can deselect it. And after that I will try to adjust the sharpness. So first of all I will click on actions, select it, copy canvas and paste it. We will get all layers on one. Then I will open adjustments and apply sharpen. Let's try to slide to the right. This way even after you post your version on Instagram you will still keep the quality. And if you do it, please don't forget to tag me, so I can see your post. I think it looks much better now. And at this point, the drawing is totally complete. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Tag me if you post a version on Instagram. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.